Thank you for joining us today for this presentation on using Ecosim Building Designer and Pro Concrete to save time and reduce costs. Let's start with a question. How can model reuse help with reinforced concrete detailing? If you needed to detail reinforcement in your project and you or someone you are collaborating with already prepared a concrete model either in Ecosim Building Designer or in MicroStation using solids, there was no direct way of using them in Pro Concrete. For Ecosim workflow, users had to export their Ecosim Building Designer concrete models and import them to Pro Concrete to add reinforcement and detail their structures. As we know, import-export functionality can have limitations. That means complicated geometry would still have to be remodeled. The same remodeling workflow applies to pure microstation solids, where no structural export is possible and remodeling is the only option. We can see at least two pain points here. For one, much time and effort had to be put into managing models between software solutions. And secondly, manual remodeling can result in errors and omissions. Also, both of those pain points can create high costs in human workload, as well as on construction sites. How can we change this situation? Pro Concrete Select Series 8 solves those pain points by adding a feature that allows rebar placement in Ecosim Building Designer concrete models and MicroStation solids. We can now use the original concrete models coming from Ecosim or MicroStation as references in Pro Concrete, so we are not wasting time for remodeling and we will not have to worry about errors or omissions. Before we move on, I would like to give you a short summary about the programs we will use. Ecosim Building Designer is a multidiscipline building design modeling application that enables BIM methodology. It provides a seamless workflow and tools for design analysis, documentation and visualization for architectural, mechanical, structural and electrical systems. It combines modeling, drawing, visualization, and discipline-specific applications into one application. ProConcrete is a 3D beam solution that allows concrete and reinforcement modeling without any restrictions. It can also produce rich deliverables like drawings and schedules. To finish this segment, I would like to highlight one of the greatest advantages of Pensley products. Underneath both of those solutions, you will find MicroStation platform. This gives our products a common file format and flexibility to work in a multi-vendor environment as MicroStation can read most of the industry standard formats on the market. Okay, now let's move on to see how reusing the concrete models from Ecosim and MicroStation works. Here, you can see a model created in Ecosim Building Designer. The same model is referenced into an empty Pro Concrete model, which in Select Series 8 release allows us to use it directly for rebar placement. In this example, we will place reinforcement in bottom slab, walls, and the top slab. Then we will create drawings and the schedule based on that model. Finally, we will take a look at how changing the original reference model affects the reinforcement. Let's proceed with Ecosim Building Designer and finish the model by placing the bottom slab. We will use a specific Ecosim tool for this task and we will define all the properties like thickness, the material, and finally, dimensions.
Now that the model is finished, we can go to Pro Concrete. Here we will start with an empty model and we will attach the Ecosim model as the reference. Please note, I am not importing any data, I am just referencing a TGN. When that is done, we can proceed with rebar placement. We will use specific tools for slab reinforcement, where I can define covers, bar sizes, steel grades, and bar spacing in each direction and layer. Thanks to this new functionality, we can now choose Ecosim Slab as an object where rebar will be placed. This simple but powerful functionality just saved us a lot of time because we did not have to remodel the concrete or import it from Ecosim model. If the model is more complicated, has openings or requires complicated rebar placement, we can use guidelines to define its placement. We will now focus on the top slab and the vertical reinforcement for it. Here you can see previously prepared rectangles on the top of the slab. We will use them as guidelines for the reinforcement. Using the same slab reinforcement command as before, we will select the appropriate settings template and this time we will point to the specific rectangular guideline on the slab. Please note that even when we use those guidelines, software understands slab geometry and cover settings are respected. That means even if rebar placement is user-defined, we have automation and parametrization features at our disposal. Of course, we can now change the parameters of our rebar, like spacing. We could also add end conditions to our reinforcement and even customize it if it is required. We can rotate it, we can add length to the end of the bar. With rebar configured, it can be now easily populated to other areas using clone command. You can see now how quickly we can prepare a 3D model of a complicated customized reinforcement in Pro Concrete. Let's take a look at finished model. We can see slab reinforcement, bars connecting wall to the bottom slab, main reinforcement in the walls, as well as a corner and opening bars, bars connecting wall to the top slab, and the top slab reinforcement. With the reinforcement model finished, we can place all the drawing callouts we will use microstation technology called Dynamic Views, which gives us not only a live connection between the 2D drawing and the 3D model, but in Pro Concrete also resymbolizes the rebar. We have full control over re rebar visibility on our 2D drawing and we can switch off all the geometry that is not required for this particular view.
The next step is to annotate drawings accordingly. Here, all the information about the rebar is being populated from the 3D model. That means we no longer have to look for and check for the data like number of bars, bar marks and size, spacing, or length of the rebar. All that information and even more can be directly taken from the 3D model. We have also additional great tools like copy bar label at our disposal, which allows us to finish the annotation quicker. We can then take finished annotated drawings and arrange them on the sheet. It is as easy as dragging and dropping it into a paper space. This very intuitive feature gives us full control over placement, scale, and visibility of the drawing. Last part would be to create a burpening schedule, which we can also do with Pro Concrete. Our software will scan the moment. for us and create the data. Please. We can then apply to it one of the many delivered schedule templates or create our own. Let's see one of those templates. You can see that it not only contains the data like steel grade, bar length, sizes or weight, but also shows a schematic graphic representation of the rebar. This completes the workflow and allows us to create a fully detailed 3D reinforcement model as well as project mandatory deliverables, drawings and schedules. All of those based on an ecosystem building designer concrete model referenced into Pro Concrete. Please note that the same workflow applies to models created with MicroStation Solids. But what happens when ecosystem model gets updated? Let's see how it works. We will go back to the ecosystem model and change the geometry of the bottom slab. Please remember that in Pro Concrete we just used the ecosystem model as a reference. If we go to the reference dialog, we will see a pencil icon next to the reference model attached. That means it was changed and needs a refresh. We will do just that. If you pay attention, you will see not only the geometry of the slab was updated, but also reinforcement inside of it. Let's take a look at the drawing again. Please note that the geometry changed and also annotation is updated based on the 3D model change. Finally, we will use the Pro Concrete reinforcement model as a reference in Ecosim. This will allow us to review and coordinate the complete model regardless of the application we use. Let's recap. After modeling concrete objects in Ecosim Building Designer, we use Pro Concrete Select Series 8 to reference that concrete model and reuse it. I am sure you will agree this step was really quick and saved us a lot of time. Then we have placed all necessary reinforcement in our model and created all necessary deliverables like drawings and schedules. We also managed to handle changes done in the ecosim model. When reference was updated, geometry and rebar followed the changes made in the concrete model.
But not only that happened, because we are using dynamic views, technology that allows us creating drawings directly connected to the 3D model, the drawings were also updated automatically and followed the initial change done in the Ecosim concrete model. Once again, we managed to save time on our project, and furthermore, we are sure that the models are consistent and we did not do any errors. If we would have to remodel the concrete, errors are likely to happen, and when they do, they can be really expensive. Here, remodeling errors are totally avoided. That is how using Ecosim Building Designer and Pro Concrete can save time and reduce costs. If you would like to know more, please check following links for more information about Pro Concrete, Ecosim Building Designer, our upcoming webinars or past webinars and other videos. I hope you found today's webinar helpful and I would like to thank you all for attention.